Hey guys, it's Ashley and today I'm going to be talking about how I stay motivated. So I have a couple of things written down on some tips on how I personally stay motivated. So step number one is to always have a plan and figure out your why, what you're trying to accomplish and why, what is going to hold you still to hold those goals. So if you're only chasing small surface level goals, you're never going to follow through because you're not going to have something substantial enough to hold you to it. So that's the first step is to figure out why. Second tip is to follow or hang around like-minded people. Um, the people that you hang around influence your decisions and your actions a lot. So if you're hanging around people that aren't really motivated, aren't really pushing you towards your goals, um, nor do they really share similar goals, you might fall into their patterns. So following people on like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, who uses Facebook? Following people on Facebook, <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> Following people with similar goals on social media platforms like Instagram or Twitter can give you something to look at and seeing people reach their own goals will also motivate you to get to your own goals. Surrounding yourself with people who share the same goals will also encourage you to want to reach your own. And even if you don't have friends that are trying to do the same thing you are doing, at least people that are willing to talk about it and keep it relevant in your life. Tip number three. This is where you have to hold yourself accountable and have determination. Um, going back to tip number one, if your reason why is strong enough, this is what is going to hold you accountable. Even on the days that you don't feel like going and you don't want to get there, as long as you're determined and just force yourself to get there, can get it done. Tip number four, find yourself a gym partner or a friend who is willing to go to the gym with you. This can help reduce gym intimidation. It can help keep you accountable because on the days that even you don't feel like going, you can rely on your friend to be like, hey, let's go. And then you feel bad not going. This can also make the gym more interesting and just a lot easier and more fun starting off. Tip number five, Buy new gym clothes. This will help excite you and motivate you. And even if you don't buy new gym clothes, set out the gym clothes that you already have on a bed or on a desk or somewhere that you're going to see them. A little hack is when you first wake up or when you first get home is literally just put your gym clothes on. Fill up a water bottle and by the time you do this, if you don't end up making it to the gym, you're going to feel pretty guilty. So just set yourself up to get there and you'll go. Tip number six, take progress pictures. I say this all the time. You will not see the little progress that you make because it's you see it every single day. You're not going to be able to recognize it. So when you compare pictures from months ago to now, you'll be able to see all the little small things and in turn create larger progress. Every time you see your progress, it motivates you and it becomes addicting and that will definitely keep you going to the gym. Tip number seven, try to make it a habit. It takes only 21 days to break a habit and 66 days to create a habit. So if you can get yourself in a routine of going, then eventually it is going to become second nature and it's not even going to be an issue. Tip number eight, start your day off with it. So I used to not like to wake up early in the morning, but now I make it to the gym every single day by 7.30. Going early in the morning eliminates any opportunity to create excuses throughout the day. If you try to save it for later, the second your friends hit you up to hang out or something else comes up, you're more inclined to be like, oh, I'll just push it off for later. So if you get it done in the morning, it's over with. You have nothing to worry about. These are all the things that helped me to stay motivated and eventually turned it into a lifestyle. So I really hope that they work for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.